Jesus my sin that he died for that he died for all mankind for all mankind he paid a price he paid a price who are we that he should love us who are we that he should love enough to give his life enough to give his life and no I don't no I no I don't deserve a man oh I was born oh a sinful man no I don't no I don't oh deserve a man but Jesus built a home for me and glory let's go up one believe that this morning. No, I don't. No, I don't. Deserve a man. Because I was born. I was born. A sinful man. No, I don't. No, I don't. Deserve a man. But Jesus built a home for me and Let's just praise him this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we don't deserve it, Lord. Hallelujah. But you died for us, Lord. You loved us, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, blessed be your name. Oh, blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise the name. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, we are grateful this morning. Oh, no, I don't deserve a mansion. Oh, I was born a simple, oh, sinful man. No, I don't, no, I don't deserve a mansion. Oh, but Jesus built a home for me yeah. one more time with all the music no I don't sing no I deserve a oh I was born a sinful man no I no I don't deserve a man Jesus built a home for me in glory land. Oh, blessed be your name, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, we love you, Lord. We praise you, Lord God. Oh, we thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Glory. God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he's wonderful. He's wonderful. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed be your name. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. Oh, hallelujah. Raise your hands. He fills my every longing. And he keeps me singing, 
I go. Oh, it's Jesus this morning. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, it's Jesus this morning. Sweetest name I know. Oh, and he fills my every longing. And he keeps me singing as Oh, we sing about Jesus this morning. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, make love to him this morning. Tell him how much you love him. Oh, hallelujah. Sweet. Oh, I know. Oh, we love you, Lord. Oh, you fill our every long in this morning. Fills my every Oh, fills my every longing, and he keeps me. Oh, eyes. let's go up one more. Oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. music. Sing it this morning. Oh, it is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. sweet. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. One more time, just one more time, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, Jesus, He's the sweet, just let I go. Oh, and He fell. Praise him, just praise him. Oh, we love you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. Oh, blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Do you love him this morning? Praise God, amen. Amen, as we get ready to change the all of the service. Let's sing, let's sing that song. I need thee, oh, I need thee, amen. I think it's that same key, amen. Oh, I need thee, Oh, I need thee Every hour I need thee Oh, bless me now, my Savior I come to thee, oh, I need thee, oh, I need thee, hallelujah.
breathing. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to Thee. Oh, one more time. I need Thee, O oh Lord. Sing, close your eyes. Oh, tell them what you need him this morning. Every hour I need you. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come. praise this morning oh hallelujah 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 oh we so needy this morning oh we so needy of your love so needy of your grace this morning oh we need your mercy this morning oh hallelujah 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 oh glory to God come by here this morning father come and speak to our hearts Lord come and speak to our minds oh God father Oh, hallelujah, come and take control. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, how many feel like they need him this morning? How many feel like they're in great need of the Savior? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We need him all the time, friends. Even when we think like we don't need him, sometimes that's where we need him the most. Sometimes we're afraid to admit it, but we're lost without him. Amen. Even the prophet went through that experience, isn't that right? All up in the woods there and thinking he could do it, thinking he could find his way back home and all of a sudden he realized that he needed somebody to lead him. We need somebody this morning. Aren't you happy that we have Jesus this morning? Someone who could lead us out of the darkness, who could lead you to the light this morning. Amen. Thank God for his grace this morning. Amen. You may be seated uh, for a short while. Continue playing so. Amen. But I'd just like to greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Um, on behalf of my wife and family, we greet the church this morning and we say God bless you and Amen. Amen. I thank God. I thank God for our wife on the wood this morning. Amen. I thank God. For, amen. Amen. I thank God for my wife this morning. She, she prayed for me uh, before I came up here. Amen. You know, she could sense sometimes that I'm nervous. Amen. It's not easy coming up here. Amen. I, yeah, I guess I, I kind of make it look easy sometimes, but I get nervous every time. Amen. You can never really get over public speaking and stuff like that, but um, I just thank God for His grace. And Amen. She prayed for me this morning, so I feel a little better. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, praise God. Well, amen. I just want to greet the church this morning. So, do you want to greet Brother Ovid and his wife who's here this morning? God bless you and the family. And um, I know Brother Ovid is in Uganda right now, I think it is. And uh, I have some weekend services there. So, amen. So, do you want to continue to remember him in prayer and the services there and that God will continue to bless? Amen. As I'm sure he's already doing. Amen. Amen. God knows how to bless his people. So, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Amen. So, Certainly, but continue to pray for him, amen, this morning. Um, certainly want to greet by Isaac this morning and his wife, Sister Karen. Amen. I want to I wanna salute him for that message last week, amen. The great escape. My. God bless you, amen. 
uh, about uh, two weeks prior to studying for the message I preached before that, the Holy Spirit whisper, whispered to my heart, the great escape, amen. And same inspiration, same core message, everything. Amen. And I knew it had to be preached, but I thank God for his leadership uh, because he shifted my burden. And then Isaac came and preached the exact same thing that God spoke to me. Amen. So I, I know it come from God. Amen. That's one thing for sure. Amen. But I'm glad it happened the way it did because he's the best person I could think of to preach that message. Amen. Amen. So, amen. So God bless you for yielding yourself to the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's what we're here to do, friends. We're here to, to give it over to God. See, He knows who's supposed to speak what, when they're supposed to speak it, how they're supposed to speak it. See? So, amen. So, I know it came out uh, uh, tremendous, and I know people are still being blessed, and will continue to be blessed by it. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. That's the uh, ad advantage we have of technology, amen, to play back the messages. And so thankful for the internet. Um, just on a side note here also, but certainly we want to not least of all, we want to remember this morning, um, Brother LeBron, uh, I think it's Brother Samuel LeBron. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the church and whatnot, but uh, that's the church in Puerto Rico. And uh, Brother Ovid, uh, Brother Coleman, actually, um, his inspiration was preached there a lot of times. And Brother LeBron was very instrumental in um, facilitating the seventh inspiration in those parts, amen, of Puerto Rico. And... Um, News has come to us that he has uh, departed from this life uh, about two days ago. Um, so we certainly want to remember the family in prayer at this time um, for Brother LeBron and, and, and that God will continue to be with them. So forth. Amen. Praise God. So do you love the Lord this morning? Amen. amen, amen. Hallelujah. My God. Let's stand and sing another song as we get ready to change over. Amen. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, praise the Lamb for sinners slain. Yeah, I will praise Him. Yeah, let's sing that. Amen. How many want to praise Him this morning? Amen. Amen. Let's lift our hands and just worship Him just now. Oh, hallelujah. I will praise Him. Oh, yes. I will praise Him. Oh, with all your heart now. Come on, sing. Oh, praise the Lamb for sinners slain. Oh, and give oh, Him glory for ye people. Oh, for His blood has washed away each day. Oh, lift your hands, lift your voices this morning. Oh, and sing it now. I will praise Him. Oh, yes, I more time I will praise him I will praise him singing I, I will praise him oh yes I will praise him praise him pray oh the lamb for sinners sleep Uh. 
Yeah. Give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, give him praise this morning. Oh, give God a shout of praise this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we praise you this morning. We praise you with our whole hearts this morning. Oh, let everything that had breath praise God this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let go this morning. Let go this morning. Let go of your mind battles. Let go of your worries. Let go of your troubles. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Give him praise this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. Oh, we thank you for your mercy this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. How many feeling fine this morning? Amen. Praise God. How many are alive unto God this morning? How many thank God for the grace of God in their lives? Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, there's always something to thank God for. You put life in your body. If many people can't walk this morning, but you have two feet, you could walk. You have hands, you could raise up. Oh, hallelujah, you have a voice, you could shout and give God praise. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's the reason why your heart is beating. He's the reason why the song you're singing. He's the reason why we live. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, many, many men. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Thank God for Christianity this morning. It gives you a purpose. Oh, hallelujah. There's something to wake up every morning. Oh, hallelujah. I know I'm going to be changed. I'm not what I ought to be, but I'm not what I used to be. Oh, I'm a little different this morning. Oh, when I look back, hallelujah, at what I used to do and what I used to say. My hallelujah, but God met me along the way. And how my heart burned within me as he spoke to me by the way. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Our hearts burn within us this morning. It is Jesus. Jesus in my soul. Yeah, many, many, man. Is that the way you feel this morning? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my. Amen. Amen. No other, no other place I'd rather be, amen, than in his presence. Amen. Well, we'll turn to the word this morning. Certainly want to greet those on the internet this morning on a hookup. God bless you. Amen. Down there in Ivory Coast and uh, New York and wherever. Um, praise God. He said, I want to greet you. Amen. So, I uh, want to turn over to, the, uh, to some scriptures this morning. I want to read from uh, two portions of scriptures I have this morning on my inspiration concerning, uh, well, it's in the New Testament. So, uh, reading from the book of St. Matthew, I want to return to the 24th chapter. And we also want to turn to the book of Revelation for the 22nd chapter. Amen. So you can find those real quick. And um, we we'll begin, but we we'll begin to read from St. Matthew uh, chapter 24, Matthew 24. And um, amen. Well, we'll just be talking around the word this morning. Amen. amen. Praise God. It's good to talk around the word. Amen. Because his presence comes around. Amen. When you talk about him, isn't that right? Amen. Amen. Praise God. And we know we are in his presence this morning. So Matthew chapter 24, uh, reading from verse 40. All right. So uh, this is Jesus talking about the end of the world, different things that's supposed to happen. Um, but we just want to highlight this part here. Matthew 24, verse 40. And it says, Then shall be two in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. My, what words, amen. Reading from uh, Revelation now, uh, book of Revelation, we want to turn to chapter 22 there. And we want to start from, we'll just read 10 to 12, really. Amen, before we pray. Uh, once more. Uh, 
Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 10. We want to read from um, 10 to 12. Okay. And it says, uh, He said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. May God have blessing to me his word. Let's just bow our heads in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning, Father, to be in the land of the living, Lord, and to be gathered around your word this morning. Lord, to hear from you this morning. Your people come, Lord, from all over. Lord, there's people on the internet, in their homes, in different places, listening to the message this morning. Father, I pray that you be with each one this morning. Those that we can see and those that we cannot see, Father, may it be with them this morning. Wherever this uh, uh, stream goes out this morning, Father, may it be with them, Lord, in their gatherings, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, for the word uh, that is about to come forth this morning, Lord, and the thought that you put in my heart this morning, Father, towards your people, O oh God, and Lord, just seek in your face for your will for today, Lord, Father. And Lord, I pray Holy Spirit come down and touch these scriptures this morning. Lord, I may anoint and breathe over it, Father, and bring life to it this morning and bring it out in a way that you want it said, in a way that you want it done this morning, Father. I give myself over to you this morning, Lord, for, Lord, to you have your uh, total and complete way this morning, Father, with your people, Lord, granted, Lord Jesus. Have your perfect way, Lord, Father. Bless Brother over wherever he is, Lord, in Uganda, Lord. Pray bless the services there. May you touch him. Strengthen him, O oh God, Father. Keep him, O oh God, Father. Lord, I may the people have just a mighty revival time, Lord, in your presence, O oh God, Father. Touch the LeBron family now, Lord, as we pray for them, Lord. We pray you raise them up in a mighty way. We pray that your blessing be upon them, Lord, and may you keep them in this time of bereavement and, and, and great loss, Father. Grant it, Almighty God, we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyway, may, you may have a seat this, this morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, give God some praise this morning. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 God. Amen. God is the God of the audience this morning. Amen. And He will not keep silence. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God is not dead this morning. Amen. So we have no right to be dead this morning. We have to be alive unto God. Amen. Amen, amen, hallelujah, to reflect his glory, to reflect his presence, amen. Hallelujah. My, hallelujah, praise God. So do you love him this morning? Yes. Amen, aren't you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. My, praise God, they're getting ready for carnival, huh? My, they're getting ready for the carnival atmosphere. They're all in the spirit, they're buying and they, 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 they refuse to go in the shops anymore, I guess, because they're buying their carnival get gear and getting ready to jump and dance and do what they have to do we have to do what we have to do this morning amen <laughs> isn't that right we there's a rapture going about to take place no man knows the day no man knows the hour so we have to be ready always we have to have the expectation always because you don't know the hour pray you don't know the day oh hallelujah you have to be watching for his coming isn't that right amen you have to be on the expectation for his coming Hallelujah. The secret things belong to God, but the things which are revealed belong to us and to our children that we may do all the words of the law. Isn't that right? That we can meet God's requirements. Amen. Isn't that right? So God has you on a need to know basis. Hallelujah. There are certain things that you need to know. Hallelujah. There are certain things that you need to find out. Isn't that right? In order to make yourself ready. In order to get yourself prepared for the coming of the Lord. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. As I said before, there's going to be a rapture. There's going to be a wedding supper. But how you prepare for it, that is totally up to you. I'm not responsible. We are not responsible for how you prepare for the rapture. But there is going to be a rapture. Make no mistake about it. Hallelujah. 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 And God predestinated some seeds from before the foundation of the world to catch the message of Malachi 4. And get ready for that rapture. And by faith we are here this morning. By faith we are standing this morning. On the blessed holy word of God. We know that word cannot fail. We know that word cannot lie. And just as sure as we are standing here this morning. There is going to be a rapture. 
Oh, there's going to be a wedding supper. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, make no mistake about it. Amen. I love what Brother Isaac bought last week. Amen. I was having a time there. Amen. Praise God. God had made a way of escape for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In every temptation, every trial, he always makes a way of escape. God is gracious. He wouldn't put you in a trap and not, praise God, have some way for you to come out of it. All his sons and daughters are tested and tried. Weeping into a far night, but joy comes in the morning. Oh, hallelujah. Watchman, watchman, what of the night? The morning cometh and also the night. Isn't that right? The night come for the unbeliever. The night come for the make-believer. But the joy, that joy is coming to the believer. To the true believer in God this morning. Oh, who are we this morning? I believe we have true believers here this morning. Hey, give the Lord a shout of praise. Oh, hallelujah. Have confidence in yourself. Oh, hallelujah. God called you. He's the one that chose you. He's the one that foreordained you in his mind from in the beginning. Can nothing separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? I don't care what it is. There's no sin. There's no persecution. There's no satanic, demonic influence that can separate you from the love of God. Say amen, somebody. He brought you out of the miry clay. He put your foot on a rock. He put something in your heart for you to believe God this morning. There's something to shout about. There's something to praise God about. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, get a lot of praise this morning. Lift up your hands and praise Him. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, when the praises go up, His glory comes down. When the praises go up, we create an atmosphere. We turn the fire up. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You watch the anointing come down. And speak to your heart, speak to your soul. Amen, isn't that right? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, let's create an atmosphere. Let's create, let's create a space with our worship. Let's create a place with our attitude. Let's create a place for God to move. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's create an opportunity for God this morning. Let's create an opportunity for that angel this morning. He wants to bless you more than you want to be blessed. Amen, amen. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, give him praise this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Stay in the spirit. Remember, Satan's job is always to get you out of the atmosphere. Always is to get you out of the atmosphere. A flat tire, bring flies in the house to just drive you crazy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Sometimes this is happening, this is happening, the kid's acting up. You don't know what's going on. Praise God. Sometimes the devil just trying to turn the heat up to get you out of the atmosphere on a Sunday morning. Amen, but the devil is a liar. He's a liar. Every time he opens his mouth, he is a liar. Pray, and he's already defeated. He is already fighting a losing battle because it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you make it in here this morning, you have already overcome. God put something in your soul to walk up those steps. Praise God. Pray, you already overcome. You don't know how much you overcome this morning already. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, there's some people can't come to church. There's some people can't come to the gospel. But you made it. And as many as the Lord shall God, thy God shall call, they are going to make it. But you are standing in a gap right now for those who cannot say amen. You are standing in a gap right now for those who can't say hallelujah. For those who can't sing amazing grace. Keep standing. Keep standing. Keep standing. Oh, hallelujah 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 god needs you this morning just as much as you need him oh hallelujah hallelujah isn't that right isn't that right oh hallelujah. there was a people to come out to believe the message of justification but unless somebody come and preach it there would no one be saved and how can a man preach unless he's been sent so god had to have one sent 
from the Catholic Church. He couldn't find nobody. He looked up, he looked low, he looked down, but he needed a messenger. Oh, to proclaim the day of the, the, um, uh, the word of the Lord for that day. Isn't that right? So he went to the Catholic Church, got a priest by the name of Martin Luther. All the Bible's written in Latin. So nobody knows what's going on. But he is the only one who can read it. He's the only one who can understand it. And God predestinated Martin Luther to interpret the word for that day. That the just should live by faith. Hallelujah. Say amen somebody. Oh, not but the priest sprinkle on you. Not by ten amen and eight our fathers. But by faith. The just shall live by faith. Oh, hallelujah. And he shook the Catholic church. Oh, hallelujah. Wesley shook the church in his day. The Pentecostal. What about a bride on the earth? Who has the fullness of the word restored? Oh, hallelujah. This earth is in first shaking. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, many man. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, so are you happy this morning? Amen. Praise God. Well, we're in the spirit this morning. I feel the atmosphere just got a, a little warmer this morning. Amen. I didn't bring my thermometer, but I could feel it. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, amen. Let's get to the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, for a title this morning, amen. Uh, I have a title. One taken, one left. That's my title this morning, amen. And for inspiration, I chose, men and brethren, what shall we do to be saved? Amen. What shall we do to be saved? Amen. Praise God. So we read from Matthew 24, isn't that right? Jesus talking about the end of the world. And prior to that, uh, Jesus was blasting the Pharisees and the different ones, the hypocrites and so on, in Matthew 23. And uh, after he was finished doing that... <laughs> Disciples, they were walking around Jerusalem, and the Bible says that um, they were showing the Lord great buildings in Jerusalem. Isn't that right? They were, they were sightseeing, basically, amen. Taking selfies, and some of them had on the I Love Jerusalem t shirt, amen. And they're walking around with the caps and different things, and you know, taking pictures, stuff like that. Doing a little tour and showing Jesus, you know, this is a building for this, and this is this building, and this is the national treasury, and everything else. And they're in that atmosphere, amen. They're, they're like tourists, you know, going around and seeing the different sights. But Jesus wasn't in that atmosphere. Bible says that while they were sightseeing, Jesus said something to them that shook them. He said, uh, he said to them, he said, you see all this here around you? He said, there shall not be one stone left here upon another that shall not be thrown down. So Jesus was already in the atmosphere of seeing oncoming destruction. Jesus was seeing all of this glitz and glamour and popularity and money and economy and commerce and business. He was seeing all of that one day coming to an end. So he was never moved by it. He was never moved by the crowd. He was never moved by the money and the popularity. Or trying to get a big house and a fancy car. That wasn't his motive. That was not his objective. Because when you look around, all he could see is the destruction that was about to take place. They were looking at the big buildings, the big houses, and the nice uh, splendor of the land, as it were. Amen. In Jerusalem. It was a great city a long time ago. But all of it was to come to naught. And Jesus knew that it was about to happen. And when he spoke those words, it shook the disciples. Because they were not in that atmosphere, as I said. You know, they were in a kind of flesh, you know, thing, and, you know, going around. You know how we are, looking at different things. Hey, that's nice. Oh, I like that building. I like that house. But uh, God wasn't in that frame of mind you see he was thinking on spiritual things he was building his hopes on things eternal and that's how we ought to be praise god amen sure it's how nice to have a nice house and a nice car but what's the end of it all praise god hallelujah isn't that right david said told the lord one time said look how the wicked prosper look how the heathen uh, advance and doing better and you know they, they're getting better at what they do and they, they, they you know improving and god said have you considered the end one of these days, it's going to come to an end. All that had a beginning will come to an end one day. Isn't that right? John said, I saw a new heaven. John said, I saw a new earth. The old heaven and the old earth was passed away. And a new heaven and a new earth was forged by fire. And so too must your new heart this morning. Your new heart have to be forged by God's holy fire. 
Praise God. Amen. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Yeah. The same fire. Praise God. The world's looking for fire. Amen. Isn't that right? Uh, uh, the world is looking for fire to, to, to cleanse itself because it's already gone through two processes of, 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 of cleansing. Isn't that right? Water in the days of Noah. Isn't that right? Then sanctified by the blood of Jesus when he came on the earth and, and died for mankind. But there's one more process left. Isn't that right? It's a three-step process. Praise God. To get back into God. And the prophet identified water, blood, spirit. So that earth is waiting for fire. Isn't that right? To cleanse it. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that the righteous could touch down on it and take over and begin their reign. Isn't that right? A thousand years. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, so, so too are we looking for fire this morning. We are looking for the fire of the Holy Spirit. We are looking for the fire of the Holy Ghost to come and baptize our souls into the kingdom of God. That's the only way to get in. Not by your intellect. Not what you can do. Praise God. But what he has already done. What he promised to do for you in this hour. He promised, praise God, to come. Amen. Visit you. Hallelujah. According to the time of life with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The same Holy Ghost that he received in the upper room. He promised to send that same anointing, that same Holy Spirit, that same person of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To come by, praise God, and to anoint a people for his name's sake. Say amen, somebody. Amen, amen. Amen. So the disciples got shook up. They were looking at the present. God was seeing the future. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. And then the disciples came to him. And said, they, they asked him, they said, Lord, when shall these things be? You know, and, and what about the ending of the Lord and ending of the, the world and so forth? Isn't that right? We're going to ask a different question because they were shaken. Amen. Shook them up. Amen. They, they got real concerned all of a sudden. All the time they were in the natural, enjoying themselves and enjoying one another's company. But something shook them out of the, the natural. Amen. And that's what we want to do this morning. We, wanna, we, wanna, we want the word to shake you out of the natural. Amen. Shake you into the spiritual things. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? All that had a beginning will have an end. But you never had a beginning. Therefore, you will never have an end. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? You come from God. And if you come from God, then you must be concerned about the things of God. You must be about your father's business. Say amen somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, isn't that right? So the word come to shake us sometimes. Amen. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's a roughing up. A while ago I, I, I was tra traveling, I, I traveled and I went to Pennsylvania and we were driving back home in the car and we took a, a specific uh, road coming back. Uh, one of those highways, I don't know. They have so many highways. But um, they, 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 on the road driving, going back to New Jersey, I think, um, on the road, every about 5, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, there'd be these bumps that you drive up on. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it, that travel, but um, there's these bumps that you go on. If you're driving on the road, you're driving on a long highway, sometimes there's no traffic lights for miles, and um, you know, there's these bumps in the road that you jump, drive over. And, you know, I was asking somebody, uh, well, the chauffeur, the person who was driving me at the time, I said, well, um, I said, well what, are, what are those bumps for? And he said, well, that, that's to wake you up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, you're driving for so long, and people sometimes driving 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, and they, they get tired, amen. And, and, and it's, a, it's a normal thing for people to get tired driving and so forth. It's, it's, amen. It, it's, it's arduous a task at times. But um, just to wake you up a little bit, they put those bumps in the road. To shake up the car. Every time you drive over it, it shakes up the car like that. Amen. You're bound to wake up after that. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Well, I feel sometimes along the road, God has some bumps. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God has some shaking. Praise God. Sometimes he does things to shake us up. Sometimes he brings situations to shake us up. To shake us out of church natural. Shake us into the, out of the church carnal. Isn't that right? Shake us into the spiritual realm. Shake us into reality. Yeah. Hallelujah. That they were not always going to be here all the time. Yeah. One day time will finish. Time will blend into eternity. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. No man knows the day or the hour. So we have to be always watchful. 
And every time you get a sleep, hallelujah. Every time you get a little lethargic. Every time you get a little lazy, God shakes us up. So I pray God shake you up this morning. Say amen, somebody. I pray God wake you up this morning. Hallelujah. As we travel along this road. Hey, many, many men. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? So they were shaken up and they began to ask questions. They said, Lord, what about the end of the world? What, what about all these things? When will these things happen? What will happen? They were curious. And God began to talk to them. And you know the scripture said perilous times shall come. And talking about wars. He talked about rumors of wars. Talked about famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. Beginning of sorrows. Isn't that right? All these things that are supposed to happen and supposed to come to pass when the Son of Man cometh. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. And many things that were supposed to happen. Amen. Uh, but God gives us a blessed assurance. Isn't that right? In spite of all these things, the end is not yet. Jesus said there will be famines, pestilences, wars, but the end is not yet. In other words, if you're looking for the end of all things, don't look to these things that are supposed to happen. That's not your sign. Praise God. That's not the thing that you're supposed to be looking for. That's not even the thing that God's looking at. All those things supposed to happen. Sure, that's fine. That's the wrath of God coming upon the earth. But God's concern is for the gospel to be preached. God's concern is his word going out. God has a concern for his people. God has a burden for his people on his mind. And though things supposed to happen, though the earth is supposed to be moved, though the mountain is supposed to be carried into the midst of the sea, hallelujah, those, all these things are supposed to happen. But pray, good this morning, there is a river. Oh, there's a river flowing out this morning. Streams of mercy and grace this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Great signs of the times, great distress of nations. And we see it happening slowly, slowly, day by day. See the economy falling apart, isn't that right? I read in the news just before I came in there that the Ebola virus is mutating. So whatever um, antidote or, you know, uh, whatever cure they have for it, they have to start uh, re-looking at that now, rehashing that. Because, they, 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 you know, the virus is now adapting to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, to the antidote. It's now adapting to that and it's now feeding on that. And it's getting more powerful. And they say they don't know what's going to happen. Over 22,000 people have already been infected. You know? And, and this is just the beginning. We haven't seen plagues and famines like what's coming upon the earth. But God promised, hallelujah, that before those terrible plagues strike, that there'll be another people in the land who under their messenger will be the final voice to the final age at the final junction of time. Oh, when Satan thinks he got everything on the earth, there'll be a bride with the voice of the archangel in her. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, to speak life. Oh, hallelujah, to rebuke the sickness, to stop Satan in midair. Praise God, hallelujah, and send him back where he come from. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, many, many men. So that's what we're contending for this morning. That's what we come to church for this morning. Because one day there won't be a church service. There won't always be church. We don't always have a place to go to. Amen, isn't that right? The prophet said they shut them down. They shut down places like these. And make them great storehouses. Isn't that right? People have to meet in their homes and have prayer meetings and so forth. Uh, Brother Branham saw it coming to pass. But he also saw a bride coming to perfection. He also saw a vision of a bride marching in step. Each one marching in step. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, hallelujah. Hall say amen, somebody. Say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Marching in step with the word. Marching in step with the word of Malachi 4. Marching in step, praise God. Say amen, somebody. So we had to line up with the word this morning. We had to line up with what God's requirements are. To fulfill God's requirements. Isn't that right? Because the reality is, and we always preach as though every one of you would be saved. But the reality is, want to be taken and want to be left. That's how Jesus described a rapture. It's never a group. It's not a whole bunch of people go in and we go in in a rapture. No, no, no. It's one little sister over here. One little brother over here who's adopted. One little brother, one little sister. One little young man, one little young girl. But one will be taken. One will be left. That's the reality. 
So get next to yourself this morning. It's not a group affair. This is not a group issue. One will be taken. One will be left. One will be taken. Praise God. Two in a field, one taken, one left. Two in a bed, one taken and left. Watch and pray, for you know not what day. You don't know what hour. Say amen, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. That's the reality that we face as ministers coming up here and preaching the word. We hope that all will be saved, but if you don't take the word and apply it, then we're not responsible for that. Amen, amen. We're responsible to, uh, we charge responsibility to uh, warn you, praise God. Amen, of oncoming disaster. We praise God by the prophet's warning. Amen. Echoing those same words, praise God. Hallelujah, of Malachi 4. Staying with that word, warning the people. Amen. Preaching the mysteries of God. Warning every man. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But if you don't take the warning, warning if you don't take God's mercy, prophet said, then you're right for judgment. Amen. Isn't that right? Yes, oh my. What an hour we're living in. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. But this gospel must be preached, Jesus said. And then the end shall come. In other words, God's waiting on this gospel to be preached. And then we could see about all the famines, pestilences, and wars, and dive earthquakes in diverse places. So don't let that be your main uh, 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 focus, praise God. Isn't that right? But get concerned about the word. Get concerned about the gospel, praise God. Get concerned about what God has for you. Because he has something for you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Isn't that right? There's a requirement for you to make. There's something that you have to do, praise God. There's something that you have to get ready for. And how you get ready for it, praise God, is already revealed in the word. The prophet already laid it out, praise God, isn't that right? Apostolic echo come back and uh, uh, re, uh, recycle the word back to us. All the promises of Malachi 4 for this day. Isn't that right? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So there's certain things that you need to know this morning. Amen. And I hope we get to it by the grace of God this morning in the message. Praise God. But there's certain things that you need to know. Amen. How to get ready for a rapture. How to get ready for this wedding supper that we're about to go into. Amen. Praise God. The new millennium and all these things. Praise God. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? There's a process. There's a way to get in there. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the days of Israel. Isn't that right? When they were wandering through the wilderness. And Aaron was their priest. Wasn't, is, is that right? And they, they would have the sacrifices every year and so on for the sins of the people. And they would bring the bullocks and the oxen and the lamb and so on. And they would kill it and so forth. And you know the story. Uh, the people had to be identified with their sacrifice. Each one brought their sacrifice. Isn't that right? Amen. To, 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 for, for, that, was for the, that was for the atonement of sin in that day. And Aaron the priest, after all that was finished, Aaron the priest would have to go into the holy place. Isn't that right? But there's a certain way that he'd have to go in. He can't walk in anyhow and swing in his hand left or right or just have any kind of approach. There was a certain approach to God. Isn't that right? There was a certain way that he had to go in. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? There was a certain reverence. There's a certain respect that God wanted. Amen. Isn't that right? There's a certain garment you're supposed to wear. Amen. He was supposed to be anointed a certain way. He was supposed to be smelling just right, looking just right, acting just right, moving in the right step, moving in the right directions so that the bells of his, his garment would ring holy, holy unto the Lord. And that's the way we ought to come to church. That's the way we ought to approach God. Even in your private closet, you're supposed to approach God with a certain reverence. Say amen, somebody. A certain respect. A certain amount of holiness. Holy, holy unto the Lord. Your life's supposed to be vibrating. Holy, holy unto the Lord. Amen. Isn't that right? Your life's supposed to be living out something. Oh, vibrating something. Isn't that right? A dog know when you love him. He'll wag his tail and flick his ears back. Lick his lips. Looking for food. Jump up on you maybe. He knows that. He knows he could feel that coming off of you. He knows when somebody don't, don't appreciate him. He'll turn away, run away. You'll be all cagey. You see it. You're vibrating something. He knows your smell. He knows your walk from a mile away. Time he see you, if you don't like it, he turn away, run time, run, up, run in the yard or something. Amen. He knows he could feel that vibrating from off of you. Hallelujah. He could smell that coming from off of you. And how much God could smell your attitude this morning. Think about it now. 
you're vibrating something this morning. Your, your, your attitude to the presence of God is vibrating something in the supernatural. Your approach to God this morning is vibrating something more than your words could speak. Oh, isn't that right? Hallelujah. So you ought to be real careful how we approach God, how we approach the word. Because it's a real serious hour, friends. It's between you and God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When we come to, the, uh, come to the Lord, we don't come in a group. We come one by one. We come to the Lord. Isn't that right? And we ask to be baptized according to Acts 2.38. Amen. We come by ourselves. There was nobody call you and bum you and try to press you and try to bring you into the message and try to push your head in it. Praise God. You believe something in your heart. Registered. Amen. And you know you wanted this thing. You can't really put your finger on it, but you know something about it. It's more real than what the world had to offer. Something about it was, was, was genuine. Something about it. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Oh my. Isn't that right? The apostles, when they uh, were preaching Jesus, and they were brought before the Pharisees for healing the layman, I think it was. Uh, the, uh, the Bible said that uh, described what the, what the apostles shared with the Pharisees and so forth. Said that they were cut to the heart. Isn't that right? The word was cut into the heart. Sure, they rebuked them, told them not to preach in Jesus' name, but those men were on the word. You couldn't shake them. They were on the word. And the holy fire of God was, was vindicating the word on the spot with healing and, and, and revelation and manifestation of the spirit. My God, we're going to come back to another book of Acts, friends. And God, the Holy Spirit, is going to manifest the word on the spot. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And that word is going to go beyond the bone, beyond the marrow, and cut to the heart. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Isn't that right? 3,000 on the day of Pentecost were cut to the heart. Oh, isn't that right? Oh, hallelujah. I don't know how many people were there outside of the upper room. Here was these people up there staggering and screaming and hollering. They had just received something from the Lord. The whole building was shaking. People were screaming. Praise God. They couldn't find enough elbow room. Praise God. It was a Holy Ghost revival. It was a first Holy Ghost revival taking place back there. Praise God. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. And it started to make a lot of noise. The people outside are wondering what's going on. We're hearing people speaking in every language within this part. Amen. Isn't that right? And they begin to name it in the Bible. There's so many of them. Can't remember how much tongues they were speaking in. And many others. Oh, hallelujah. They were all confused. They were all wondering, what were these drunk men doing? up there staggering and getting on and lying down on the floor praise God and they were screaming Holy Ghost coming into their heart and burning demons out demons screaming in the supernatural realm oh hallelujah 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 my God Peter stood up on the day of Pentecost said these men are not drunk as you suppose but this is that which a prophet Joel spake of he took Joel's prophecy and by revelation made it present tense by manifestation, it was present tense. It was happening right in front of them. Oh, and that's what we're looking for in this hour. The word of Malachi 4 to be made present tense reality to you. By a manifestation of the spirit that is prophesied to follow the word. You have heard the word long enough. But it's time for the spirit now to come into your heart and make that word live. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Brother George Kangley, God bless you. He preached a wonderful service in a prayer meeting Thursday night. Amen. Yeah, if you're missing these prayer meetings, I don't know. You're missing them out for, amen. But he preached some wonderful things. And one of the things he said was that uh, you can't take your seed and present it to God and say, look, I got a seed. and uh, This is all I have. And this is what God gave me. No, 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 no. Where's the fruit? Where is the end product? God don't want to see uh, uh, what, uh, uh, well, I, I believe, you know. <laughs> but what have you done since you believe? What have you received since you believe? Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according to his work. Isn't that right? So according to what you have done with the message of Malachi 4, so shall you receive your reward. Isn't that right? And the Bible says he's coming quickly. So if he's coming quickly, then what situation are you in this morning? What state are you in this morning? What have you done with the prophet's message? How long has a prophet come to the earth? 
Oh, how long has he preached a message? Oh, how long will we be slack concerning his promises? Oh, say amen, somebody. Oh, it's time to wake up, friends. It's time to get to amen into action. What we see ought to make a church that will make a revival. Ought to put every soul into action. Didn't the prophet say that? Well, then say amen. Hallelujah. 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 What are we doing with the word? What are we doing with the message? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to get ourselves ready. God is fixing the break in a way that we've never seen before. The prophet talked about another Ananias and Sapphira and a few of them. Oh, isn't that right? If that's going to happen, then what's your heart's condition this morning? Oh, you begin to check yourselves now in the mirror of the word and see if you match up with these things here. Hallelujah. And if not, then you're lacking something. Then you need something. Oh, hallelujah. And it comes by the Holy Ghost. It comes by an experience. It comes by the anointing coming upon your soul, upon your life. Oh, hallelujah. It comes by that three-step process. Water, blood, spirit. Yeah, many, many, men. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, many, many, men. So all these things are predicted to come to pass according to scripture. Isn't that right? We have no control over that. California is going to sink. We know that. It's going to happen. People are not even in church. They don't even believe Barbara when they know that California is going to sink. You can look at it on YouTube. Man, there's people saying, you know, that they, God spoke to them, different things. But, you know, it's going to happen. It's, it's bound to happen, see? Um, amen. Isn't that right? We have no control over those things. But what we do have control over is what we can do to get ready for the coming of the Lord. Amen. amen. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. And Brother Ovid said, made a statement, I think it was one of Sundays ago. He said, what are you prepared to do for this revival? That's a shaking statement. Because no revival came like in a bed of ease as it was. Isn't that right? There's no revival that just come by people just, you know, coming to church and paying tithes and lollying along. Oh, there's no revival going to come that way. No, no, you have your part to play. Something you have to do about it. Oh, hallelujah. What you expect is what you are going to get. Nothing less. Amen. Hallelujah. Than that. Amen. Isn't that right? What you put in is what you're going to get out. What you invest is what you're going to, what returns you're going to get from your investment. Isn't that right? Prophet preach a message on investments. Isn't that right? My prophet preach many things, huh? Talk, talk, talk about investments. Isn't that right? Whatever you invest in, praise God, you're going to get returns on that investment. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What, what you give is what you're going to get back. Amen, amen. In order to make the profit investment, you have to do your background check. Isn't that right? And see if it's a good investment or not. See if it's a viable choice or not. Isn't that right? Oh my, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. So it's an individual affair. Isn't that right? All right. So let me read this quote here. I want to emphasize what I was saying earlier. Uh, from God of this evil age. Amen. Here's a prophet early in the message speaking. He says, very strange to think that in an evil age like this, that God then would be calling his bride. Isn't that right? He said, did you notice? He said, a people, not a church. Now listen to this real carefully. I love how he breaks it down. I'll read it real slow. He said, a people, not a church. Why? Yet it's called a church. But he would call a people. Now, a church is a gathering of many people of all different makeups. But God is calling, listen to this, but God is calling one here. He didn't say, I'll call the Methodist group or the Baptist Pentecostal. He said he'd call a people. What for? His name. See? A people. One from the Methodist. One from the Baptist. One from the Lutheran. One from the Catholic. See? But he's calling not a church group but a people for his name. Oh, hallelujah. So there's one over here. Amen. Here's my spirit flowing freely. I can find one over there. I could use him. I could use her. There's my spirit flowing freely. All God needs is one this morning. Oh, say amen, somebody. One is a majority in God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. One person come like having a whole group of people. Isn't that right? But all God needs is one heart, one life, one person, one brother. Maybe you inside of here. Come on, say amen, somebody. One brother, one sister, one young person who wants God, who has a desire to make a difference, 
and that will make all the difference. Say amen, somebody. One person can change the course of action. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God. Say amen, somebody. Oh, one person. Maybe you inside of here this morning. Maybe you could be that one. I don't know, but it depends on your attitude. Whatever attitude you had in here this morning, you could change the course of this service this morning. This service don't have to be the way I think it's supposed to be or the way you think it's supposed to be. One person. Say amen, somebody. Give God a shout of praise. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit on that this morning. My God, give God praise this morning. Give God worship this morning. One person, praise God, can change the atmosphere this morning. With your praise, with your worship, with your attitude. Oh, hallelujah. It's important what you tell yourself. Say amen, somebody. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Tell yourself this morning. Tell yourself something positive. Tell yourself something real. Tell yourself something true. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. I know that I can overcome. I know that God is with me. And if he is with me, I shall be able. What are you telling yourself this morning? Oh, give God a shout. The woman with the blood issue, she told herself something. Isn't that right? She spoke to herself. She didn't have a minister. She didn't go to a church. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. But she had a lot of money. And she was spending it, spending it, spending it. But all of a sudden, it started to wither away. All the doctor bills, hallelujah, wasn't that enough? Because nothing was being done about her condition. Hallelujah, she had a blood issue. And she needed something. She wanted something from the Lord, but she was only one person. Oh, hallelujah, but that was a majority in God. That was just enough. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. This is not a two-legged race. This is not a three-legged race. Praise God. Say amen, somebody. All you need is one. Don't need nobody on the left, on the right, trying to slow you down. No, 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 no. All you need is one person in here this morning. The Holy Ghost pours out on individuals who want God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Say amen, somebody. She wanted something. She recognized she needed something. She needed a healing. Something that the doctors couldn't give. Something that the physicians, it was beyond their power. It was beyond their control. But there was a God who was in control. And she wanted to contact that God. But there was no way on the earth to find him. There was no access thrown. But then all of a sudden, she heard a message that a Messiah was on the earth. She heard a message about a man who could heal the sick, who could raise the dead, and who could cast out devils. And that woman told herself something. Oh, she began to speak to herself. David said, I encourage myself. She told herself, praise God, if I could just touch, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Say amen, somebody. Oh, she told herself that. She convinced herself that. It wasn't a promise in the Bible. It was just her fate moving in the atmosphere, rippling out. Oh, her, and as soon as she said it, here come hell to try to stop that woman. But she had already overcome in her mind. In her mind, she had already touched Jesus. She was only about to get started. But God was going to do this. And if you could only get started this morning, say amen somebody. God will do the rest. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. She told herself something. She convinced herself. Oh, that today was the day. She was not going another day with this blood issue. She was fed up. She was frustrated with her condition. She, hallelujah, there was only going to be one taken and one left. And she wanted to be the one taken. She was not going to be settled to just be left behind. Oh, hallelujah, she was desperate. She was willing to do whatever it took. 
to get what she needed. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a time for apologies. There's a time to say excuse me, but this wasn't that time. Say amen, somebody. There's a time to get a Hallmark card and apologize about your attitude, but this wasn't that time. She was desperate. She was willing to do whatever. She pushed past this brother. She pushed past this sister. The Bible said it was a great press around Jesus, but she had a greater press. Oh, hallelujah, to get to him because she needed something from the Lord. Oh, how many need something this morning? How many see themselves as that woman this morning? Oh, I want you to identify yourself with the word. And if you see yourself as that woman this morning, say amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many want to press their way this morning? Oh, he's a rewarder. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Seek the Lord. Seek his face evermore. Oh, give God a shout of praise. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever Jesus was going, she interrupted the journey. She interrupted the service that day. However things were supposed to flow, it wasn't flowing no more. Because somebody interacted, praise God, on a supernatural level. She didn't speak any words, but she did something that changed the course of action. Jesus was going in a certain direction. Everybody was following him. All of a sudden, he stopped. He turned around and asked the disciples, said, who touched me? <laughs> oh, that's something. You just think about that for a second. Everybody is around Jesus, taking pictures of Jesus and asking him to sign the autograph. All of a sudden, he stopped. Who touched me? The disciples say, everybody touching it. What are you talking about? He said, no. This is a different touch. Some people touching because they want fame. Oh, some people touching because they want popularity. They want to be seen with Jesus of Nazareth. But this woman was touching for a different purpose. She was touching for a different cause. Is there not a cause? Oh, let's go up at once this morning. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh my. So as he passes you by you this morning, you reach out and touch him. And tell me if you don't feel the Holy Spirit. Tell me if something don't happen to you. From this day on, you reach out and touch him. Your faith gives you the ability to reach up and grab Jesus while he's passing by. Oh, hallelujah. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. The supernatural world is real, friends. That woman was not acting in the natural. In the natural, somebody would look at that crowd and say, I'm not bothering with that. That's a waste of time. Why bother? Talking about hundreds of people around Jesus. I don't know, they got the memo or something that Jesus was going to pass by and everybody was there. But she changed because of her attitude. She changed the way things were supposed to be and, and the way human concept would see it. She wasn't seeing it that way. She, she was seeing things in a supernatural level. She was seeing that there was a possibility. That, that there was a possibility that, that maybe part friendship the Lord huh, would pass by me one day. That, that this day could be the day. That, that hallelujah. She was seeing herself healed. She was seeing herself walking free. And she was seeing herself moving. Hallelujah. The way she used to move. And jumping the way she used to jump. And shouting the way she used to shout. And hallelujah man it's amazing what one person can do oh hallelujah God works with individuals he always has isn't that right okay let me finish this quote here one from the Methodist one from the Baptist one from the Lutheran one from the Catholic see but he's calling a church not a church group but a people for his name that receives his name, engaged in his name, going to a wedding to be married to him, to become part of him. See, by predestination. He said, just as a man chooses a right wife in this life, was ordained to be part of his body, he said, so that is. The bride of Christ will be and is now from old ordained by God to be part of that body. 
Amen. Isn't that right? So you're predestinated to be part of that body. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you have to see yourself that way. Amen. It's important how you see yourself in this service. Because one is going to be taken and one is going to be left. That's the reality. Praise God. You make up your mind which one you want to be this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm not responsible for that choice. The pastor is not responsible for that choice. The ministry is not responsible for that choice. You are responsible. Yeah. Hallelujah for the attitude and the action you take concerning God's word. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yay, many men. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Where am I at here? Amen. Do you love him? Hallelujah. One taken, one left. Isn't that right? Okay, praise God. Let me skip over this quote here now. Talking about adoption, and uh, I just want to read this here. I think it, I think it fits right in here with what I'm trying to say. Uh, said so the church is supposed to be predestinated, isn't that right? Yeah. Until the adoption of children. You know this quote. Said where a man, a man. See, God can take a man yes, yes. and adopt him into the family, not a group. It's not, adoption is not a group <laughs> thing. Yeah. Forget about it. Takes one over here, sets him aside. Hallelujah. Let your pants, legs be bagged at the knees. Praise God. And you set your eyes to what heaven? That God takes you over to the side. Not the group. You over to the side. A man, a woman, somewhere and adopts him. Gives him something. Isn't that right? Said adopt him in the family. See? And give him something. That. Said first, try that. And see if it's right. Said the Bible said, try the spirits. This man claims a certain thing. This person claims this. Uh, claims a certain thing. Said try it. See if it's right. Said, and if it's, a, if, it's a, if it's as right, move right with it. Then say, Lord, send us something else. Keep moving. See? Said, just keep moving. Say, every fellow take his place. Look how he put this here now. Said, every fellow take his place. And it was every individual person take their place. Then, then what happens after that? Then you're going to see the church of God begin to get into its place. So the church can only get into its place when every fellow takes his place. That's the church. It's made up of every fellow that's taken his place in Christ. Isn't that right? Oh my, hallelujah. See? So that's what the church is. It's made up of individuals. Isn't that right? Who've taken their stand. Isn't that right? Who've taken their place in Christ. See? That's when, that's when the Philistines will go to backing up. The shorts will go off. Hair will grow down. Faces will be washed. Cigars will be missing. Why? Because we're not trying to push nobody to, to be holy. And to come to church on time. No, you're doing that because you take your place. Isn't that right? When you take your place, you do the things of God. Isn't that right? Nobody had to beg you to worship. Beg you to praise God. Beg you to come on time. Beg you to pay your tithes. Beg you to contribute to the church or nothing. My God, you want to do these things. Because you love the Lord. And you want to see God's people. Amen. Be blessed and so forth. Isn't that right? Oh my. Isn't that right? See, that's right. That's when the church begins to get into its mighty power. When they have an Ananias and Sapphira and a few of them. A few of them? Talk about another book of Acts. That was a scary thing back then. To see that there. Isn't that right? Here it was. Everybody was selling the, the land and so forth. And, you know, doing what they could uh, to the church and so on. And these people coming to church lying. Write down a sum of money that... Uh, was false. And God killed them on the spot. Because he wanted to keep the church pure. He loved the church. He couldn't have the church in that kind of condition. When people come in there lying and doing what they want to do. What kind of skullduggery and underhanded money. No, no, no. God couldn't have it in the church. So he cut it off one time. Because he alone knew what was in their heart. And Peter, amen. Peter didn't know. But Peter was in communication with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, the unseen, the secret service agent, knew what was in their heart. He was very visible in the room as anybody else that was there. So he knew what they were saying, knew what they were lying. Whispered to Peter. Peter said, you come, think you're lying to me? I'm a human being. You didn't lie to me. You lied to the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. One day it's going to turn over to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You think of it, you're a man in a pulpit, but be the Holy Ghost. The pillar of fire adopted, veil. In the Son of Man speaking, hallelujah. In the Son of God speaking, isn't that right? Oh my, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said after that, no man added himself to the church. After that, nobody was walking into service just because they wanted a place to go to on a Sunday. No, no, no. It was a different place then, brother. That was a scary church, brother. God is in that building, brother. 
You better come real or don't come at all. You better come hot with a true heart or don't come at all. Don't even bother to put on your clothes if your heart not right with God. It was that kind of church. Amen. But the Bible said the Lord added to the church as such as would be saved. Isn't that right? So predestinated seeds was going in there. Not just any old wishy-wash jellyfish, praise God, Christian, in and out, praise God, lukewarm. No, 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 no. It was genuine believers. People who wanted it. People who needed it. People who recognized God. People who reverenced and respected God. Respected the Holy Spirit. Did their one third and they were blessed. Praise God beyond measure. Amen. Amen. Praise God. They weren't afraid to do their part for the kingdom. Okay, let me finish this here. Another Ananias and Sapphira and a few of them. Huh. How we ought, what kind of condition we ought to be in? I think about it. Amen. As, as I read. He said, yes, sir. You'll see when that holy church stands together in its power, positionally placed as sons of God, adopted into the family of God, powerful church standing there in its glory. Oh, that's what he's coming for. Oh, hallelujah. He's coming. Amen. He's coming for that kind of a church. Amen. He loves to see that. Order and, and discipline. My, everybody in their place. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? The disciples in their place. Because they were in a place on the day of Pentecost, they became apostles who were once disciples of Jesus, who were once followers of Jesus. The pillar of fire come into them and made them leaders, made them fishers of men, just as Jesus told them in the beginning. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit come and made them leaders of the church, even ministers of the word of the gospel. Oh, hallelujah. Isn't that right? Amen. The, Holy, the pillar of fire did that now. They weren't self-appointed apostles. My, they were appointed by the pillar of fire. To go out and preach the word, cast out devils, heal the sick. Isn't that right? Amen. So that's what it's going to be. Amen. That's what, the, that's what the prophet said. Amen. Amen. My, praise God. So, my God, I feel these, this hour, I feel this hour like we, like we are defenders of the faith this morning. Amen. I feel like we're defending Malachi 4's message. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're defending the word in this hour. Hallelujah. God in it. Praise God. Hallelujah. From all kind of interpretation, people coming in trying to say what they want to say. Amen. Hallelujah. But God's word will be made manifest. God could only anoint his word. Not 99 and 9 tenths, but the full word of it. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. You have to be identified with it. Identified with the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Identified with the death. Identified with the resurrection. Oh, hallelujah. We identified with it this morning. Oh, how many identified with the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Amen. My. Defenders of the faith, huh? I like that. Amen. I might preach that a message sometime. Amen. <laughs> well, amen. It sounds good. I don't know. Um, witnesses here. I want to read this here quick before I move on. Uh, here's a prophet talking about witnesses. He said, in the court, there's two kinds of witnesses that will stand. That's eye or air. He said, now, if you're sitting in a room and you look through a glass and you see an accident, he said, your witness, he said, your word is no good because you were looking through a glass. He said, you have to be right there, close, to really know what you're talking about. See, before you can be a witness, you have to hear it or you have to see it before you can be a witness on a severe case in the courts. You can't say, Miss so-and-so told me, amen, or Mr. So-and-so or Reverend so-and-so told me, he's a witness, but you're not. So therefore, no man can exactly witness to the resurrection of Christ only by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. To make you the right kind of witness. Isn't that right? You have to be a personal witness yourself. Being there. Hallelujah. Knowing something about it. Knowing what you're talking about. Amen. Isn't that right? And he said, and God help us to see that day that when men will just be what, uh, will be just what they are. He said, you know, I'm saying this now with all respects. He said, it isn't our city full of bootleg joints that's hurting us. He said, here's what's hurting us more than ever. He said, it's people who are professing to be Christians and not living like it. He said, that's the thing. See, they're not a correct witness. They can't witness until they have an experience. And when they have an experience, then they become a witness automatically. Because they're born again. Amen. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Comes back to what comes back to what Brother Isaac was saying that Sunday. Amen. We do things with the young people. We try to encourage them, but it takes an experience. 
amen to really keep you in this hour it takes an experience with God you have to say that you felt him that you felt his presence that you know what it's about that you felt the glory you felt the power isn't that right you remember that Terrence Ovid I remember he was sharing with the young people one time he said about how he received the Holy Ghost he said one day, Brother uh, uh, William, uh, Hugh Williams, I think, came to him and began to testify to him. Isn't that right? About how he, he received the Holy Spirit in a, in, a, in a meeting one time. And the way, Brother Terry said, the way that he began to express how this glory and power come upon him. Oh, but it turns over, he began to get thirsty about it. He began to get concerned about it. There was something vibrating off Brother Hugh Williams that he had never seen before. There was a glory on his face. There was a difference in his walk. There was a difference in his talk. There was something moving. It was real for him. It was real to him. He felt the fire. He told him what he felt. He said, you got to experience it too. Amen. And by faith, but it turns over to receive, amen, the Holy Spirit also. Isn't that right? Amen. During the 1980s. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what it has to be. It has to be genuine. It has to be you got into contact with something. Even the pillar of fire. You felt that power go into, inside of you. And burn the demons out. Burn the lust out. Burn the thoughts out. The prophet said, examine your life. What were you before? He said, what were you after? He said, what changed since you believed? What changed since you received that Holy Spirit of promise? Oh, isn't that right? He said, if you're still flying off the handle, if you still have temper tantrums, you haven't got it yet. You have to go back and get it. Praise God, you've got it to get. Isn't that right? But you're nothing until you receive that Holy Spirit of promise. You haven't even got started yet. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. But it is to them that obey him. Oh, the Holy Spirit is given to those, to them that obey him. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Jesus said, he that loveth me, keep it my commandments. And it is he that loved it me. And he shall be loved of the Father. Jesus said, he will, the Father will come to him. The Father will manifest myself. You say, I will manifest myself to him. To the group? No, to him. The individual who, who believed God. The individual who stayed with the word. The individual who didn't compromise. Who didn't turn to the left. Who didn't turn to the right. Amen, amen. It's the attitude that you have. The three Hebrew boys had an attitude. They were not going to bow down to no idol, to no man's interpretation, to nothing that them brothers were saying, doing, speaking, praying. They didn't have nothing to do with that. They said, we're not identified with that. We identified with God. And if God don't deliver us, we're still not bowing down. Say amen, somebody. That's the attitude. If God don't give me the Holy Ghost, I'll be right here. You'll find my bones here. But I'm not going to bow down. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going back to what I used to do, to who I used to be. Oh, hallelujah. You got to make up your mind to burn the bridges behind you. We're not going back. We're going forward, forward, forward into the adoption of sons. Say amen, somebody. Yeah, many man. Hallelujah. And when they have an experience, then they become a witness automatically. Because they're born again. And all of the things of the world, all things have passed away. And all things have become new. Then you become a witness unto Jesus. Isn't that right? Jesus knew before the apostles could ever go out and be a correct witness that they had to experience what they were witnessing about. Amen. Isn't that right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Wouldn't that be nice today, he said, if every seminary did the same thing, if every Christian did the same thing, would just come to church and say, now I'm accepting Jesus as my personal savior and I'm going to stay right here till I get the baptism of the Holy Ghost and then I'm going out to be a witness. Amen. See, things would be different. Don't you think so? He said we wouldn't have that, those loose scattered testimonies. Isn't that right? Up one day and then down the next and then they're out of church and then they're in a the church. In the church, isn't that right? Loose scattered testimonies. He said people testify and then say they're a Christian. And then go out and live other lives. And the unbeliever comes in and sees that. And he say, well, look at that day. Is that the way they go and see? And the devil always points them out too. Isn't that right? See, it scars the face of the church. Isn't that right? Oh, the true Christianity. Amen. People live any kind of a life. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? And then claim to be Christians. 
we want to be the right kind of Christian. Amen. How many want to be the right kind of Christian this morning? A real Christian is a Holy Ghost filled. Oh, hallelujah. Anointed person, praise God. Walking in the Spirit, led by the Spirit of God. You're not relying on your own thoughts. Lean not unto your own understanding. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you're leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on the Holy Spirit. Leaning on God. Whatever God wants to do, you do it. If God told don't do it, don't you touch it. Or would you stay with that word? Stay with that anointing. Hallelujah. Until God leads you. The footsteps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. Oh, honey, isn't that right? And if they're ordered of the Lord, it's impossible for you to fall. It's impossible for you to fail. Isn't that right? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One time a man asked me, he was a young man. He went to university with me. Yeah. And he was, he was, a, he was an ex-witch. He used, to, he used to be in witchcraft and stuff. So he was asking me about God. I was testifying to him about the Lord. And um, he said, you know, Anthony, tell me something. He said, what, what? You know, who is God and stuff like that? He said, uh, why would God allow all these bad things to happen? People get raped, murdered, and killed every day. He said, people lie and cheat and steal. He said, why is it that people do those things? He said, has God forsaken us? I said, God hasn't forsaken us. He said, we will forsake God. He said, if we follow God and do the things he said do, we'd never have these things here. Isn't that right? See, he was seeing it, you know, one way. Like, you know, God just let people do whatever they want to do. But that wasn't it, see, because God had laws. God had principles to live by. God had commandments. God had the Bible and everything laid out for man to follow, amen, in his truth and his righteousness. Amen. And we are living in a day now where it is impossible for you to say that you don't know. You can't say that. Because there's the internet. There's everything made available for you to find out who you are what your purpose is, what you're here in this life to do. Yeah. Say amen, somebody. Yeah. So there's no excuse in this age that you're living in, there's no excuse for you to say that you don't know. Yeah. That's not a word. Don't even say that. Yeah. Because everybody's supposed to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Yeah. Say amen, somebody. Yeah. The internet has no password. We have no username, no login. So you can walk in and listen to any tape you want to. Praise God because it's free. All who whosoever will, let him come. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Yeah. I heard a preacher say one time, talking about souls on the altar. He said they were crying out. How long, Lord? How long, Lord? Till you restore unto us. Isn't that right? Souls crying out on the altar. The preacher went on to say, he said, how are you? He said, I would like to stand in the day of judgment. And look people in the eye and see God ask them, what kept you from being the right kind of Christian? What kept you from being the right kind of a believer? He would like to ask him, say your job, your family, your home, what, 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 your car, your personal interests. What is it that kept you from being, from living the life that you're supposed to live? What is it that hindered you from, from, from doing what you were supposed to do? What is it that kept you from the presence of God? What is it? What is it? He said, explain it to me. I'd love to see someone explain it because he said there was no excuse. Amen. God made every available way for man to be saved. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. But he's still going to, he's going to take one and he's going to leave one. Yeah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So you make up your mind today which one you are going to be. But if one is going to be taken and one is going to be left. Praise God, brother, sister, I want to be taken. Oh, I, I want to be left behind. Oh, I, I don't want to be left behind. I don't think you want to be left behind either. Praise God. So let's press towards the mark at a high calling. Let's press towards the mark in Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. See, there's really no excuse for you to say that, you know. Because they died for the truth. Some of these saints went through all kinds of afflictions. They were slain asunder and slain by the edge of the sword and they wandered in sheepskins and goatskins. They were destitute, afflicted, tormented. It's a big word. Some of us feel tormented by our jobs and some fickle things, but, but they, they went through real pain and suffering. How are you going to tell those? What kind of testimony you have for those men? What kind of testimony you have for guys who had they, were beheaded? What, can I, what are you going to tell them? You got to have a testimony, friends. Oh, hallelujah, you got to live something. you got to do something for God. You've got to please God. Hallelujah, by your, by your faith that you say you have. Then let it show on the outside. 
Don't be afraid to express it. Don't be afraid of the world. The world don't care. They wear their short pants. They wear their short skirt. They wear their earrings and makeup. They don't care about nobody or nothing. So what are you concerned about? You living for Christ. You living for the gospel. You represent life. Brother, don't you ever worry about what man says. You seek God's approval always. Hallelujah, praise God, little sister. Don't you be afraid to be a Christian. Little brother, don't you be afraid to be a Christian. If you stand for God, he will stand for you. He will stand for you. He's closer than a brother. He's a friend of a wounded heart. Oh, say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Oh, hallelujah. And God will make a way for you. Yeah, he make a way for you. If you live a holy life, shun the wrong and do what's right. God will make a way where there seemed to be no way. When the devil seemed like he got everything on the earth, what will be taken and what will be left? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, many man. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Maybe seated. Oh, I know I'm going a little long, but I want to bring certain things out to you to keep you on fire for God because Satan is doing his thing we got to do our thing also amen we got to work while it's day the night comet where no man could work so we got to work now we got to put our shoulder to the wheel now for the revival hallelujah hey not gonna always always have all the time isn't that right my amen where, where was I all right where was I okay I read that oh no actually I didn't finish didn't I? Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, do you love him? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, that's what I have to read out. Amen. Anymore. All right. You love him? Amen. My individuals, huh? That's what it's about. Isn't that right? One taken and one left. God always deal with individuals. Isn't that right? God speaks to one person. Hallelujah. Not one person interrupts the whole program. Changes things around the way it was going. Praise God. Turn it all around. Amen. When, Indra, Indra, when Israel was in bondage, isn't that right? In the days of Egypt, God chose one man. He chose Moses. Moses in the desert. Moses feeding his flock. Moses doing his ordinary thing. But in God's mind, he was already chosen. God pulled him out. God gave him a burning bush experience. God put something in his soul. When he came back from that experience, his countenance was different. His face was different. His walk was different. His talk was different. All the time for 40 years, he was running scared. But one day, he just turned it all around. One day, he made a 180 and said, I'm going down to Egypt. His wife was shocked. He said, you didn't, that's not where you grew up. He said, you talking about, for years, you haven't even mentioned Egypt. All of a sudden, you want to go? But I heard a message from God. The, 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 the people's deliverance has come now. And I'm the one to do it. God couldn't find anybody to do it. But he chose me to do it. I was always the one that I didn't even know it. Oh, But I'm going down there. You wait for me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back with two and a half million people. Praise God. Hallelujah. He was convinced. He knew who he was. He knew what he was born to do. He knew what his purpose was. Praise God. Brother Branham said, nothing in hell can stop the purpose of God. It will be accomplished. Hallelujah. There's no power in hell that can stop the purpose of God from coming to pass. No power. No principalities. No spiritual wickedness can stop the purpose of God for your life. Whatever God has for you to do, you're going to do it. Not by might, not by power, but by his spirit in you. The word will live out again. Seven thunders banging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll live out. Oh, I'll enable the Holy Spirit in you. Yeah, many men. Oh, my. Moses went down there. Let my people go. So simple words, simple words, but, 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 but they didn't know the power that was behind that. God was ready to contest that, what Moses spoke. He was willing to back that up because the hour of deliverance was come. The hour of deliverance was here. 
there was no more delay there was no more keep back for 400 years it was in that condition and God had enough of it the people began to cry out to God and when God remembered his promise when God remembered his people Israel when God remembered the words hallelujah there was a time for the deliverance and that time would come around and that season had rolled around oh hallelujah and Moses was in his place Aaron was in his place oh hallelujah let the plague strike but the people were going to be delivered oh hallelujah hallelujah and there is another people in the land this morning they are going to be delivered not by match not by power but by his spirit oh hallelujah hallelujah amen one man one man Moses interrupted nature he interrupted the course of things he interrupted the way things normally go the sea turned red hallelujah is not right with blood is not right there was no life in it everything died is not right frogs flies fleas plagues hallelujah he was creating it as he spoke it it came out of his mouth science couldn't explain it the weatherman gave one prediction one day and the other day there were fleas all over the place there was no control because there was another person there was another man in the land that God had his hand on that he was speaking his word through and the bride will be that same way she will be the voice of God in the earth that God could speak his word through here's another one over there I can place him I can place her here's my spirit flowing freely one taken one left oh say amen somebody hallelujah amen 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 hallelujah isn't that right isn't that right oh hallelujah praise God so let me strike my subtext now and then we can close out men and brethren so what shall we do to be saved after we have heard the word isn't that right we know the one to be taken we know that one to be left so what do we have to do what do we have to how do we prepare ourselves oh hallelujah for the for the wrath of god is about to pour out isn't that right amen to escape hallelujah what's going to take place hallelujah god has provided a way of escape for us oh god has provided some better thing for us the day without us are not made perfect oh hallelujah hallelujah isn't that right brother Branham is waiting on us brother coleman is waiting on us all the saints of all are waiting on us wesley is waiting on us luther is waiting on us oh hallelujah praise god our loved ones men and brethren who have passed away praise god they are waiting on us also brother lebron is waiting on us this morning oh hallelujah, hallelujah. the dead in christ are waiting for those that are alive and remain oh hallelujah 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 praise god amen isn't that right oh hallelujah oh hallelujah isn't that right so the pillar of fire isn't that right it's waiting to come upon individuals isn't that right oh hallelujah isn't that right? okay let me see something here real quick I have a quote here I want to read before I get into this part here and then that's it. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Here's a prophet. He said, I've never been ashamed and God help me. He said to always be man enough to stand up and speak my convictions. Amen. Isn't that right? He said, for if I'm not, he said, I would be a traitor to Christ. He said, but I believe. Here's a prophet. I love this. He said, I believe in the old fashioned baptizing of the Holy Ghost. He said, I believe that a man has got to be born again or he is still a sinner. I believe it's only through the grace of God that he's called of the Holy Ghost. He said, and if we don't receive the Holy Ghost by, we do not, uh, he said, we do not receive the Holy Ghost by faith believing. He said, but it's a free gift of God. A free gift of God given to us by God's grace. Oh, hallelujah, that's God's grace to you. It's a gift, hallelujah, that he has for you. To them that believe him, to them that obey his words. Oh, hallelujah, he promised a gift of the Holy Ghost to you, praise God. Hallelujah, 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 praise, isn't that right? Isn't that right? He promised the Holy Spirit. That's right, he said, that, that's where I different with my own church. But Branham said, the church I come from was a Baptist church. He said, they said that you receive the Holy Ghost when you believe. He said, I said, that's contrary to the Bible. Paul said in Acts 19, he asked those Baptists up there that was following Apollos. He said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Not when you believe it, but since you believe it. 
you believe first but then the holy and the holy ghost is the gift of god see that comes to you said it's different he said here yeah, altogether different from being saved and being called out in god oh honey it's another spirit with you oh isn't that right hallelujah hallelujah this is not good enough to be baptized according to acts 2 today you have to receive that gift of the holy spirit hallelujah that completes the process in god oh hallelujah 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 brother Adam said amen he's still a sinner isn't that right until he's born again oh hallelujah 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 and the true born again isn't that right by the baptism of the holy ghost and fire hallelujah. amen isn't that right he said uh it comes to you it's a different here altogether from being saved from being called out in god see now therefore you will you have to see he said i believe that man's spirit was made uh before all the natural all the, all the supernatural was made before the natural isn't that right he said all the supernatural was made before the natural he said i believe that everything in the natural line works in harmony or should work in harmony with the spiritual he said in other words like this he said when a baby is born when a person is born of the spirit uh ministers he said there's three elements that come from the body of christ to make up the spiritual body of jesus do you believe that he said water blood and spirit he said that's what come out of his body is that true well that's just exactly the elements it takes it takes to go through to to get into his, his body is that right the elements that the elements that constitutes the new birth three elements water blood and spirit amen amen, amen. hallelujah hallelujah isn't that right so you come out you get baptized amen hallelujah your, your body goes into the water isn't that right hallelujah but then the blood part is what you do about it that's the sanctification part hallelujah that's the part that you do that's when you pray up that's when you get your life right with god that's when you got to pray and go to crying out and seeking the law that's when you applying the word to your side say your daily life hallelujah hallelujah amen isn't that right paul said i die daily hallelujah not on a sunday not on a thursday night when you have prayer meeting no no but every day you're dying out you're dying out dying out to yourself applying the blood hallelujah 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 until his holy spirit come until you're in the right kind of an atmosphere to receive his spirit isn't that right you have to be like cornelius isn't that right devout just amen prayed up waiting on god waiting for god looking for god to come down in any way that he means to come down oh hallelujah cornelius was just one man but he was praying he had a right kind of an attitude he had a right kind of an approach he had a right kind of motive he had a right kind of an objective he knew what he wanted oh and he was praying for it he was looking for it he didn't know when he didn't know what hour oh hallelujah but he was praying he was in the spirit he was under the anointing oh hallelujah he was standing in a gap for his family he was standing in a gap for his household he was putting them ever before the lord he was giving his arms he was paying his tithe isn't that right he was keeping the law he was giving to the poor oh hallelujah 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 then all of a sudden god spoke to cornelius and said go and send for peter send your servant man go and let him send for peter and god loves to burn the candle on both ends while god was working on putting cornelius side a word come to peter while peter was praying a vision dropped down and god began to minister to peter the bible said the vision appeared three times because god was trying to teach peter something he dropped down a net Oh, hallelujah, of all kind of weird stuff. Don't Peter to go and eat. And Peter said, these things are uncommon. We can't eat them. God said, Good, don't, don't, amen, don't have that attitude. Amen, change your mindset. Change your approach. Because there's some man I want you to pray for. There's something I want you to do. God was leading his son by the spirit. Not all of a sudden, when the visions was finished. Oh, there was a knock on the door. Just at a precise time and moment. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Those men had sent for Peter to go pray for Cornelius. And Peter was led of the Holy Spirit. He come down to Cornelius' house. And began to speak the word. And began to speak the word. And then all of a sudden, the fire of the living God. Hallelujah, come and confirm the word that was laying in Cornelius' heart. Oh, he was waiting on the Lord. Waiting on his promise. Waiting on the holy spirit oh hallelujah 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 oh isn't that right isn't that right isn't that right 
Oh, come down to a personal experience. Come down to the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We have to receive the same Holy Ghost that the people in the upper room received, that Mary received, that Peter received, that John received. You have to receive that praying same Holy Spirit. Andrew, Philip, all of them, they were waiting in the upper room. Musicians could come, isn't that right? They were praying in his name. They were staying in the Spirit. They were tarrying. Isn't that right? They were waiting on God. They didn't know when. They didn't know what hour. They weren't told what hour. But the Bible said that when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were in one mind. They were in one accord. They were in one place. Oh, hallelujah. And all of a sudden, down come the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. The consuming fire. Oh, hallelujah. 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 And came into each one. The Bible said the pillar of fire rested upon each one of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit of promise. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Friends, you have to be concerned. You have to be convinced. Oh, hallelujah, to get your portion in this hour. It's the only way to add the virtues. It's the only way to add a life. It's through that Holy Ghost of promise. Oh, hallelujah, you are nowhere. Hallelujah, you ain't gotten started yet. Until you got that Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Praise God until you get that filling, that sealing, your portion. Virtue, power for service. That's what we're asking for. That's what we're crying out for. Oh, hallelujah. I don't have time to get this. Amen, amen. But the Holy Ghost is what you need. The Holy Ghost is what we're crying out for. The Holy Ghost is what we're praying for. The Holy Ghost is what we're holding on for. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, say amen, somebody. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Isn't that right? Oh, my. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let me read it. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, so God's looking for one person here, friends. In closing. God's looking for one person that he could work his word through. God looking for one brother, one sister, one soul who's convinced. Oh, hallelujah, that God, hallelujah, hallelujah, is the same God he was yesterday. That he's the same God that he was today. He's the same God forever. He's looking for one person that he could work his word through. He's looking for one person, oh, who's convinced. He's looking for one person who's concerned about their welfare, about their spiritual well-being. Oh, hallelujah, who, who wants more of God, who wants the things of God. God, who's thirsting after God? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, and He can work through you, my brother. He can work through you, my sister. He can work through your life. He could use you in a way that you've never seen God use before. Oh, hallelujah. But what you gotta say? Say, Lord, if you could use anything, you could use me this morning. Take my hands, take my feet, touch my heart, speak to me this morning. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. I'm getting ready to close, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Musician could come. Uh, play, play something softly there for me. Amen. I'm going to just read this here and then close out. Stay in the spirit. Amen. Now I want you to listen for a few moments before closing. He said, I want you to know this one thing. He said, I watch closely now. He said, watch the order of the scripture. I'll take away the stony heart and give you a, a new heart. And now... The heart is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'll give you a new spirit. Amen. I want you to watch the order. Now, many uh, people get mixed up there. He said they think they got the Holy Ghost, but they just got a new spirit. He said, watch. I'll give you a new heart and a new spirit. And then, this is the third part now. He said, I'll put my spirit. He said, now the new spirit. God had to give you a new spirit. Because that's a new spirit. And God give you... So you could get along with the Holy Ghost. Without old spirit you had, you couldn't get along with your neighbor. You couldn't get along with yourself. So you know you couldn't get along with God. So God gives you a new spirit. Yes. And many times under enthusiasm, he said, and if you watch the life that it bears, uh, I'll skip on now. He said, he said uh, a lot of times you think that you'd have the Holy Spirit. He said, oh, he said, I sung, I spoke in tongues. Certainly. Being that close to it, you might do all of that. But that isn't the Holy Spirit yet. Amen. See? He said the Holy Spirit bears record of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said now he's taken. And what did he do? He give you a new heart. Give you a new spirit. Yes. Then he puts his spirit Hallelujah. in you. Amen. 
He said, you don't have to go around and pretend that you're a Christian man. That, that new spirit brings new life. He said, and the Holy Spirit in your new spirit, in your new heart, your new heart, your new spirit, and the Holy Spirit goes right in the center of your new spirit. And your new spirit goes right in the center of your new heart. Amen. Isn't that right? He said, now when you receive the Holy Spirit, it goes right in the middle of that new dispensation of yours. He said, oh, you say I quit drinking. I quit smoking, you know. I just feel like a different person. He said, oops, wait a minute. He said, see, you just got a new spirit. But the Holy Spirit comes into the middle of that spirit. And then he makes you every, every main motion, every intellectual, everything agreeing right into the middle of the wheel. What God says, he said, if the days of miracles, um, if Jesus is the same yesterday and forever, he said, the Holy Spirit would bear record with that. You can begin to stand. He said, and every intellectual move of yours will say the same thing. And when you have these little temper fits and you fly out and you tell lies and you proselyte and you jump the fences and you're so selfish with your organization and you're so narrow-minded that you couldn't hear another minister, just remember, the Holy Spirit isn't ticking inside of you. He said, I didn't know I was going to say that, but I... But that's right, that's right. See? He said the Holy Spirit will make every movement like Christ. It'll make you Christ-like. The fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, meekness, gentleness, patience, faith. He said those things are what the Holy Spirit controls. Amen, amen. amen. Let's lose our hands and give God worship this morning. Brother Stephen could come, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm finished. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh. Oh, begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We praise your name, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Thank you for your word, Lord God. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Oh, we need you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Come on, give him praise this evening. Give him praise. Give him praise, holy people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Give him praise. Give him praise. Open your mouths and praise him this morning. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody's praying, Lord. Come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord. Come by here. Somebody's praying. Lord, come by here and oh Lord, come by. Somebody's crying, Lord. Somebody's crying, Lord. Come by here. Somebody's crying, Lord. Come by here. Oh, somebody. He's crying, Lord, come by here, oh Lord, come by, somebody needs you, Lord, oh, somebody needs you, Lord, come by here, oh, somebody needs you, Lord, come by here, oh, somebody Somebody needs you, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, come by. Oh, 
hey, oh, somebody's crying, Lord. Come back, oh, hey. Oh, do you have a cry on your heart this morning? Oh, reach out right now. Oh, he's here. The Holy Spirit is here. He's moving through the benches. Hallelujah. Moving from heart to heart. Oh, cry out to him this morning. Oh, come by here, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, I'm begging you this morning. Come by. Somebody needs you, Lord. Somebody needs you, Lord. Come by. Hey, oh, somebody. Oh, Lord, I need you, Lord Jesus. Come by here this morning. Oh, come and fill your people with the Holy Ghost and power, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody needs you. Come by. Hey, oh, oh, Lord. Come by. Oh, Lord, I need a filling. Oh, Lord, I need a filling, Lord. Come by. Hallelujah, glory, Lord, I need a filling, Lord, come by, hey. oh, Lord, I need a filling, Lord, come by, hey. oh, Lord, come by, Lord, I need a Holy Ghost, oh, Lord, I need the Holy Ghost, come by. Come by here, oh Lord, I need the Holy Ghost. Come by, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh yes, Lord, Lord, I need the Holy Ghost. Oh, come by, come by here, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, Lord, I need revival. Oh Lord, I need revival. Oh. Come by, oh, come by here, Lord, I need revival, oh, come by, come by here, oh, Lord, I need revival, come by here, oh, Lord, come by, one more time, Lord, I need deliverance, oh, Lord, I need deliverance. Come by, come by here, oh Lord, I need deliverance. Come by, come by here, oh Lord, I need deliverance. Oh, come by, come by here, and oh Lord, come by, come by here. Oh, give him praise, shout out to the Lord, amen. Oh, praise Him this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, give Him praise. Give Him praise. Oh, shout unto the Lord. Oh, worship Him this morning. Oh, bless His name. Hallelujah. Oh, He's going to fill His people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give Him a shout of praise this morning. Give him a shout of praise this morning. Give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, come by here, Father. Oh, we bless your name. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we magnify your name, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise his wonderful name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Put your hands together. Amen. shout. Give the Lord a shout this morning. A shout of victory. Hallelujah. Praise His name. Thank you, Father. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for your word this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost and filling your people. Oh, blessed be the name. Blessed be his holy name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. I appreciate the message this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. God bless you, Brother Anthony. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But amen. We are challenged this morning. Amen. To search our lives. Amen. Because one will be taken and one will be left behind. But are you going to be one that's going to be taken? Amen. Let's make our calling and election show. Praise God. The time is at hand. Praise God. Let's just sing one more song. Amen. Before we close. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. He touched me. He touched me. Amen. E, I think, brother E. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. Oh, yes, Lord. And oh, the joy that fills my soul. Oh, and something. Something happened, oh, and now I know He touched me and made me. Oh, He's touching me right now. Hallelujah. You press away. Oh, He touched me. Oh, He touched me. Oh, yes, Lord. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Oh, and something, something happened. Yes, and now, no I know he touched me. Praise God. Let's just bow our heads and close our eyes. Amen. Thank you, Father, Lord. Oh, we praise your name this morning, Lord. Father, we thank you for your word that has gone forth this morning, Lord, and power, Lord. Father, we pray that it will find our place in our souls. Lord, may we meditate on what we've heard, Lord Jesus, throughout the week, Father. Lord, may the angel go with us, Lord God, and, and, and trouble our hearts, Lord God, as we pray and fast and get ourselves in order lord for your coming father lord that we would be one of those that would be taken lord jesus oh two in a bed one taken one left lord lord two in a field lord one taken one left lord god father lord god we pray that we be one of those that will be taken father lord may we set aside that time lord to be in your presence, Lord, and to pray and consecrate ourselves and to read and study your word, Father, oh God. Lord, as we see the hour approaching, Father. Lord, we pray you bless your servant, Brother Anthony, this morning who labored in the vineyard, Lord God. I pray you bless him and give him a double portion, Father. Bless his wife and family, Lord Jesus. And Lord God, remember our pastor on the fields, Lord. I pray continue to bless him and strengthen him, Father. Give him good health and strength. Lord, and the unction to speak your words of life. Lord, and every brother here and every sister, Lord, as we are about to dismiss, dismiss us with the choice of your blessings, Lord. Father, we pray that you bless, Lord, the meals that will be prepared during the luncheon period, Father, and bring us back to the evening service in your presence, dear Lord. Oh, we commit our lives into your hands. Father, oh God, may Holy Spirit take us, Lord, into the cocoon of the seal of God, Lord, and Keep us, Lord, in your presence, Father. Oh, God, as we practice your presence day and night. Lord, we commit our lives into your hands one more time. Bless every brother and sister in your precious name. Amen, Lord. And amen and amen. Praise the wonderful name. You may be seated. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. amen. So we just have two announcements. Praise God. Amen. Uh, service continues at 3 p.m. this evening. 
And we have service on Thursday night, amen, prayer meeting. All, all are invited, amen, and we encourage you to come out to the prayer meetings on Thursday. Amen, amen. We appreciate the service this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just sing that song as the ushers come forward. One of them, one of them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Praise God. Bless the ushers. Oh, one of them, one of them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. One of them. Hallelujah, one of them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Oh, there are people almost everywhere whose hearts are all aflame with a fire that fell on Pentecost which cleansed and made them clean it is burning now within my heart all glory to his name I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them oh one of them hallelujah one of them praise the Lord I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them Oh, one of them Praise God, I'm one of them Hallelujah Oh, I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them Oh, they were gathered in the upper room All praying in His name They were baptized with the Holy Ghost and power for service came and what he did for them that day he'll do for you the same I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them oh one of them hallelujah one of them praise the Lord I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Come, my brother, come, my brother, seek this blessing that will cleanse your heart from sin. That will start the joy bells ringing and will keep your soul aflame. It is burning now with my heart all glory to his name oh i'm so glad that i can say i'm one of them oh one of one of them one of one of them i'm so glad that i can say i'm one of them oh one of one of them i am one them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Hallelujah, one of them.